steering likes to wander. See that? I'm almost hitting the guardrail. I turn to the left, wanders to the guardrail, and turn it to the left some more. Wanders to the guardrail, turning, turning away from it. It keeps going towards it. Turning. I'm still turning away. It's wandering to the right again. I'm still turning away from it the whole time here. It keeps wandering. Now I'm going to actually turn. There we go. Well, we'll have to address that problem here. So. So I called up a friend of mine, Jay, who works on construction equipment. And told him the situation that I had. I thought I had a bad steering valve. I put the payloader bucket up against the, the side of the bucket up against the commodity shed wall. On one side, turned the machine hard and the steering faded. And I put the machine on the other side of the commodity shed wall and did the same thing. The steering faded then too, so it led me to believe that I had a a steering valve that was going weak or something, uh, you know, a O-ring gone inside it or something. I explained the situation to him, and he said he had seen it quite a few times before on agricultural machines and construction machines. So he advised me that the cylinder packings were gone. He ended up ordering the parts for me and he was planning on doing it. And I kind of jumped the gun on him here and uh, we ended up Christ. doing it one night. Uh, one night after we got done with it. So uh, thanks a lot, Jay, for the, um, the heads up on it. And, uh, I'll go from here, I guess. inside here and I need to put a little plastic guide in so that I can pull that out There we go. Perfect. Oh, there's a little plastic thing you stick in there so you can pull the piston out. I just finally got her in there. Now we're going to pull it out. There we go. This one is about as destroyed as the other one.
Okay, so this is the cylinder actually from the right side of the machine. We did the right side cylinder first, and I only videoed the. I ended up putting the cylinder from the left side in this actual video here. We started with a half inch drive impact, which that's a pretty strong impact. I usually don't take part about anything. And you'll see why uh, I go right to the one inch gun on the uh, cylinder for the left hand side here. So we started with a lot uh, with a with a half inch impact, then we went to the three quarter inch impact, and uh, that didn't do it. And we ended up having to uh, use the the one inch gun. Now uh, they must use a, a pretty good Loctite or something on these cylinders because. Um, and these nuts that go on these cylinder rods because uh, they both came off real hard. Um, I ended up pulling the threads off the cylinder on the left hand side of the machine. Um, it came off somewhat easy at first and then the last few threads um, got mongered up and it kind of screwed the nut up a little bit too and we went ahead and just put it back together and got it tight and ended up welding it but uh you'll see that here later on in the video so i ended up having a big three quarter inch gun to get out the, the one inch gun here so um, well, that there, i guess all right the half inch wouldn't do it oh, and the three quarter wouldn't do it i'm gonna jack on this and what's gonna happen is Started with the cylinder from the right hand side of the machine to give you an example of why I go right to the one inch gun for the cylinder that's on the left hand side of the machine which is in the vise here now.
Um, I only got to be like 10 minutes here. Uh, I might need a hand putting this stack frame back together on this thing. Okay. It's going to go together a little faster than the other one, but what are you working on that thing? Yeah, someone snapped off the top one of the bolts to hold the coolant reservoir on. Yeah. It won't come off, but oh. I don't know because it doesn't have another bolt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they're almost finished. Who's helping you? I am. Oh, really? <clears throat> this one here, this over. There. Get the guy out of there. Okay, now I gotta peel this guy. Perfect, right? Okay, now I just got to 
POVs. Gotta put the wiper seal in there, Ivan. So, this guy goes in here, like so. I'll move on this. Alright, set that there. Get my little seal whacker. Blue side up. That lined up right there. One whack. Almost did it. Two whacks did it. Okay. Now, this guy is ready to go on. the threads off of this so I might have to uh, weld it on there so um, the threads and the knot don't look the greatest here I want to see if we can't get that married back on there like so So we're going to put a bead of weld on that. Where'd you get this one? Out of that set. Okay. 
Look at this, Johnny boy. Pulled all the threads off of that. Really? Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm just going to have to weld it. I got it tight. So. Okay, here's my options here. I could have bought a complete cylinder that I wouldn't have had to rebuild for $2,468. Or if I chose not to weld the rod, I could have spent $693 to uh, replace the, uh, the rod. So, uh, that's why we chose to just weld it and get along on our way here. Okay. Can we go? Set you right here. Slide this into the barrel. No, oh, we gotta pull this guy out. For the fun part. Well, what we've got here, Johnny boy, is a snap ring. Oh, if I could get that to go in first. Let me get that to go first here. All right, so what there is is a groove on the inside of the bore for the cylinder. There's a snap ring right here, okay, that is um, sprung out, okay. We've got to get it to sit down in this top of the cylinder here. Mm -hmm. And then we just push it back and then... And then once it drops into the, you know, once we're in, we're okay. We just got to take it back to where that groove is. Okay. The problem is, is getting it all pushed in together. So if I can hold it in with a couple of screwdrivers, you'll just kind of have to go and uh, pound it through. It's not, it's not too bad. It gets frustrating, but it's, it's not bad. Um, here's the screwdriver. And this one. So, so at first we got to put a little pressure on it, like this. I think I got it. If you just be careful not to slip and hit that um, wiper seal there. Hit it pretty 
hard, don't you? Well, it's all about um, working the snap ring in. So it's not going to probably slide right in without that there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Try it. One problem we got is this part here. Touch him? Yeah, actually, that's going there. <clears throat> Alright, I got that much of it. I almost need a third hand. Hey yeah. Ivan, can you do me a favor? You're gonna have to get a little close to me here. I don't really mind at the moment. Yeah, third screwdriver. Alright, see what I'm doing? I'm pushing this snap ring in. You gotta like come over, whisper in my ear, and push that part in. So see what I'm doing right here? Yeah. And then John, he's gonna whisper in my other ear. You have one right yeah, there should be one right there. Maybe you can come under my arm with that punch, John. Or yeah, can you get Point come up a little bit? Better tip. Get, yeah, get get right up on there, yeah, right there. All right, John, can you go over? Maybe you want to go under? If it's possible. Yeah, let me switch hands. Let me try this. Oh man, this is gonna this is gonna work. Oh shit. Never say that. Oh shit, there we go. <sighs> oh. Can you see? I think that screwdriver you got is too blunt. Yeah, I don't know if it's pushing me. You just gotta stay like that all night. <laughs> He's only got a little bit. It's a push. I here. think, yeah. No, you're not on it. Get right there you go. Can you sneak in, John? Yep. Yeah. Oops. It went out. Yep. Sorry. Oh, we're good? Yeah. Don't have to go further? No, you gotta go farther. Yeah, Just take, uh... It snaps again? Yeah, what you do. Gotta whack it back. See, like that. Now it should... It should have almost dropped in there, but I'm gonna take it back What's to that? where it won't go any farther. Yeah, so it's boom right there. Now, what I got to do is I got to put this guy on, and I'll just get my uh, my little pliers. I'll just have you guys push it in place. You gotta get them. So, um, this guy, where she split. She's on there. Cool. Now I just got to put pins in and stuff. and I should be good, boys. I want to help. Put these in place. That should be good. Ooh. Ooh. Mama says I feel it. Five. 
Yeah. What else we gotta do to that truck? Um, should we leave it in here? Yeah. Yeah, leave it in there. Should we leave it right where it is or back it up and close the door? No, you can. Ooh! You can leave it right where it is. Okay. So, put here. Drop the pin in. Ready for the races. We are. Look at that. A brand new one. Right, now you can chase butterflies too. Oh, it's not used yet. Alright, we've got the steering cylinders rebuilt here. Uh, about a week ago, um, took this payloader down the road, and the road kind of leans to the one side here. And, uh, Payloader wanted to wander pretty good, and uh, boy, I had to run the steering wheel forever to uh, get it just to stay on the road. And uh, well, it was, it was actually right down here. I come into a corner, and um, it just wanted to keep wandering. So it's got the steering wheel is a lot more responsive now. actually right it was right in here uh, the payloader was wandering off the side of the road and I really had to keep turning the wheel just to uh, keep it on the road so I just figured I'd run down the, down the ag bag here run up through this other side here uh, it did it yesterday too where the the road uh, where it starts to go up the hill here the road leans a little bit as it goes around this um, curve and uh, yesterday it was starting to crowd the guardrail a little bit um, so we'll see how that responds here now the, the packings were shot on both cylinders so Well, let me believe that you know that's what it needed. That's that is obviously what it needed because uh, I'm holding the steering wheel, not even really having to move it, and it's staying right put. So okay, comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll catch you at the next video.